And then my prayer request is the Lord continue to bless the church. Amen. That he will enlarge our territory. Amen. That he will help us to be examples. That people can see God in our life and want the God that we are serving. Amen. We pray and amen for amen the sick and the shut in. Amen for those that have lost loved ones. Amen. We pray that God will save the unsaved. Amen. Reclaim the backsliders. Let's pray one for the other. Let's pray for, amen, our children, amen, uh, the saints' children, amen, because they need to be saved. Amen. amen. Also ask in prayer for my siblings that God will save them, sanctify them, and baptize them with the Holy Ghost. And also ask in prayer for my nieces and nephews. Amen. And I just, I'm, I'm just praying that God will save his people everywhere. Amen. Help us to stand in holy places because God is soon to come. Amen. And if you look every day, amen, you pick up the paper, you turn the TV on, people are leaving here very rapidly. Amen. And it's time to stand in holy places. Know that God is real. Some time ago, the Lord let us know that the deaf angel was traveling. Amen. And ever since he spoke it, We've been seeing people falling all around us. Amen. So we say it to you, live holy. Then you don't have to wonder about where you're going. Amen. If you got to be holy to go to heaven. If you're not ready, hell is going to be your home. Amen. But we pray that everybody will live a ready life. Amen. Are there any other prayer requests? Oh, amaze. And the grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch
How you opened those that was closing up a place. And how you shut those that no man could open. My God. We ask you to look on the careless and unconcerned. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. We ask you to look on the sick and afflicted and those that are shut. We ask you to look on all of the raised man and the healed and the Stretch out your mighty hand right now. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, help us to pull down every stronghold. Yes. Find Satan in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. Oh God, we ask you to look on the angel that you have stated. Oh God, in the name, in the name of, of Jesus. Yes. Keep it with a vision. Elevate a mind. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, delivered from the transitory things of the Lord. Oh God. In the name of Jesus. Give us one mind and one love, one peace, yes. one desire. Yes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, we will ever give thee all honor and praise. These are the blessings we ask in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. amen. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. To my name,
Don't let his name go down. Oh, don't let his name go down. I'm gonna do all I can. Amen. Because we got to live by ourselves if we want to see the Lord. 
Amen. And we thank God. Amen. I thank him because I'm saved from sin and sin. Amen. I thank him. Amen. For the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Abiding in my soul right now. Amen. I thank God because he is my life. Amen. I desire your prayer to pray for me because I'm determined. No matter what come or go, I'm going back with God. I'm going to hear him say, well done. Well done. Well done. Thy good and faithful servant. Amen. Right here, we're going to open up to your glorious testimony service that you can sing your songs and testify your life to the honey and glory of God. I love you. I love you. I love you, Lord, today because you care for me. In such a special way, that's why I praise you. I lift you up and I magnify your name. That's why my heart is filled with praise. Thank you. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be worthy of the praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you're worthy. You're worthy. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord, you're worthy. Glory to God.
You don't go any further. Now it's something to thank you for. Amen. And we owe him all of our praise. Amen. We do honor our God bless pastor. Amen. My wife, Dr. Pauline. Amen. My pastor Johnson. Amen. And you have a and the other. And you have a bridges. Amen. And to Sweet Pea. Amen. We are so happy to see you. And each and every one of you and your other children. Amen. I've been glad to be back in the house of prayer. Oh, yeah. And special to our musician. Amen. Hallelujah to the ready. I'm glad the Lord saved me when he did. Yeah. And delivered me from the transitory things of the world. Pray that I will ever stay meek and humble, and that my highest praise always be in Jesus' feet. Pray my strength in the Lord. Thank God for my goodness. Daughter in law, and the son of the Lord. Amen. We serve. We serve. All right now, God. All right.
I just thank the Lord that we do serve a right now, God. That he is always on time. That he's never, never late. That he knows exactly what we need, when we need it, and how we need it. And I just thank him for being a right now, God. Amen. Any more testimonies? I'm a soldier in the army. Hello. I'm a soldier in the army.
it's legal for two men and two men to marry each other, it's not right. I've heard people say, well, if they love each other, it is a shame. I heard it from some, even some Christian people say it. Well, if they love each other, God is love. God loved you enough that if you die or he comes before you get it correct, he going to send you right straight to hell. Beware of the pitfall. We need to examine ourselves, us that name the name of Christ. We need to take a true evaluation of ourselves. Examine ourselves. We can have some junk in the trunk, some skeletons in the closet, and don't even know it. Why? Because we don't read the word of God enough. We don't study the word of God enough. We don't pray and fast enough. We don't come to Bible study in Sunday school like we should, amen. We allow too much space and lapse in between the time of reading God's word, studying God's word, amen. So sometimes you get further and further and further and further away and don't even know you got out of the ark of Satan. And Satan is sitting right there. I got it. I got it. And guess what? Everything that you liked in your prior life, before you met Christ, guess what? He'll bring them right back to you. Know why? Because he know you're comfortable with it before. You was enjoying it before. It's easier to present that to you than something new. He just put a different dress on it. A different pair of pants on it, a different shirt on it, come in with you with a different form. That's why we got to watch always as well as pray. Because he's sneaky. He's working. He never stops doing what he do. Remember, he's your enemy, not your friend. No matter how sin is dressed up, sin is sin. No matter who's doing it, sin is sin. The word of God tells us to study, to show ourselves approved unto who? Unto God. A workman that need not to what? Be ashamed. But dividing the word of truth. Rightly dividing the word of truth. The devil come in in the form of apostle, bishop, elder, presiding elder, prophet, Prophetess, evangelist, deacon, whatever form can preach the word, can teach the word, but always counterfeiting the word. Watch. Don't just get caught up in the show, in the dance, the song, because they can dance, they can sing, they can preach, they can rap. Ah, see, because he's he going to throw all kinds of tactics at you. Ah, yeah! Amen, Pastor. Amen, preacher. And don't know what he said. Don't know what he did. Just because they can jump up and shout, just because they can appear to be speaking in tongues, he coming in a shed, coming on a hunt. You're not listening. You're not listening. Tongues come and tongues come with interpretation. When God speaking tongues, there's someone there to interpret. What was saying? If you don't know, don't say amen. You don't understand, don't say amen because if they lie and you say amen, you agree with a lie. That makes you a lie also. Be careful. Be careful. That's all I'm saying. Be careful of the pitfall. They all around. You. Time is winding up. Jesus is soon to come. This world is getting wickeder and wickeder and wickeder day by day. Satan is attacking the church with sickness and affliction, oppression, depression. It's a terrible thing when you can walk around through the neighborhood where all the dope boys is, the prostitutes is, the pimps is, and see them smiling and rejoicing more than you do the church folks. But the joy of the Lord is our strength. God said he would never leave us no forsake. He be with us even until the end of the world. When mama walk away from you, daddy walk away from you, brother walk away from you, sister walk away from you, your family members 
that you've done so much for, the ones that you love so much, when they lie on you, when they steal from you, when they turn their back on you, when they try and pull down your character, you can still hold your head up, joyfully knowing that the joy of the Lord is my strength. No matter what they say to you, no matter what they do to you, no matter how they treat you, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Watch the pitfall, watch the tricks. It's a snare. Everything that is wrong for you, the devil's going to make it look good. That's why it's so imperative and so important that the children of God have the gift of discernment. If you cannot see in the spirit, you can be easily deceived. You can be easily tricked. The devil know how to camouflage. He know how to dress up. Brother Terrence, what the Commodore say? She's a brick house. 36, 24, 36. And how can she lose with the stuff she used? Be careful. Just because it looks good don't mean it's good for you. Just because it smells good or dressed up don't mean it's right for you. The devil know what you like. He know what you like to hear. He know what you like to smell. And he'll put it right there before you. He'll take the very ugliest thing that will carry you to the pits of hell and dress it up, make it look real pretty. And if you're not careful, you know, shack it up with the enemy. We got to be watchful. This is not a time to be likes. This is not a time to be likes of David. We need to be praying like never before. Amen. We need to be fasting like never before. Amen. We need to be in that word of God, eating that word of God, spilling up our spirit, man, amen, because this fleshly man cannot stand against the devil. But the spirit man that is on the inside of the God man can stay here because greater is he that is in us. Amen. Be careful. Even come in the form of children. Come in the form of money. They want to give you a raise on the job. If you don't know why they want to give you a raise, ask the question. Because some raises come with conditions. Some promotions come with conditions. We got to ask. We got to see. We got to mirror our life through the mirror of the Word of God. Amen. Get in the Word of God. Stay in the Word of God. The Word of God will show you where you are and where you are not at. It will show you where you like, show you where you're weak, and show you where you need to come up at. Me, I'm trying to get stronger day by day. I need more day by day. I'm going to stand here and tell you the truth, amen, that some days I drop the ball. Some days on my job, amen, them guys start them crazy jokes and I find myself laughing. But then the Holy Spirit brings it back to me, you the leader. You the one that's the preacher in the midst of them. And you're laughing along with them. What do that say about you? Ask God, please forgive me. Please forgive me. Let me get that right. So now when I see it, now when I hear it, I'm more inclined to rebuke that than I am to laugh at. God, give me the mind to be always listening and praying. Give me the mind that I won't be ashamed to tell them that was wrong. And I'm not mad if anybody get mad at me for telling me that I told them they was wrong. Because God is going to hold each and every one of us accountable for keeping our mouth closed when we should open our mouth. We have family members in our family. That ain't mean they're watching us, but they're waiting on the word from us. We're saying that we're saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. But they're seeing something different in our lives, and that shouldn't be. All over the TV, everywhere that you go, everything pertaining to the church on these shows is making mockery and fun of the church. Stealing money, the pastor with the deacons and all this other stuff in here. But we need to be the true and living church everywhere that we go. Say to know what God has in store for you. Say to know what plan that God has for you. He don't want to see you get there. Satan got kicked out because of a pitfall of arrogance and pride. He know he cannot go back. He know you can't. 
you have an opportunity to go back with Jesus, to live in heaven, amen, in a place that was not prepared by the hands of man. But because of his pride and arrogance and his hatred of you, he don't want you going there. He want all the company he can get. And a lot of us, he don't have to try and get us because a lot of us, amen, we volunteer to join this team. Self-examination is needed. It needs more so now. God is going to start sending some people in this house, amen, that's going to overflow this building. And the leaders that God have established here, amen, we need to be Christ-like examples, amen. Christ needs to be seen in everything we do and heard in everything that we say. We need to be the Christ-like example because when these people come in, amen, these people are going to come from all kinds of places, all kinds of stages of life, all kinds of situations, amen. And we, along with the pastor, amen, following her lead, amen, we need to be able to help these people. The church is supposed to be the hospital for sick and dying people. The way they can come and be healed, they can come and get to life. We've seen nothing yet. Worse is coming down the pipe. This that we've seen now that we call so evil is nothing compared to what's coming. We read about the Chaldeans, a brutal people. And we have very brutal people in the land. The Haitian gang, the Hispanic gang, the Latin gang, and skinheads, KKK, all these things, the news is telling us their, their recruitment levels has went up. Their enrollment level has doubled since many a year. Evil is preparing itself to unleash wickedness on this land. And we need to be prepared. We got to be careful. We got to be careful. A pitfall is something that is easily hid, that you can fall in. Me and my wife, we go hunting. We put on camouflage. Deacon Lovett get a chance to that military camouflage. We put on specialized clothes that help us to blend in with the surroundings. Amen? So the animals, the enemy, or whatever see us, we look like the trees. We look like the hills. We look like the sand. We look like the air, whatever it is. Satan is no different. Anytime a voice comes into your head and say anything other than the word of God, that's the enemy. Any spirit that come along and try to get you to do wrong, that's not of God. Amen? Any spirit that come along and tell you you better than him and better than her, I'm all of that in a bag of chips, amen? Be careful because you're already fallen. It's not of God. I don't know all the tricks of the enemy. I don't know everything he has in his bag, but I do know that the trait that he has has worked for a mighty long time and will continue to work if you're not where you're supposed to be. Watch yourself. Be careful what you say out of your mouth. Because what you say out of your mouth, you can't take back. It says, not what goes into a man that defiles the man. But what come out of him? Pastor Johnson told me a time about when her mother told her, hey amen, about the words that come out of her mouth. Say so she took a pillow and tore it over and shook that pillow up like that in the wind. Feathers went everywhere. Say so you go out there and collect all the feathers you want, but you'll never get all of them. Be careful what you say. Be careful how you treat others. Be careful what you do. And I'm, most of all, I'm encouraging all people here, there, and everywhere under the sound of my voice. Be very careful how you treat your spiritual leader. Be careful how you speak of your spiritual leader. The word of God tells us not to spite, not to smite, nor curse our parents. Our spiritual leader is our spiritual parent. Amen? You better be careful what you say. Don't entertain the enemy when he's talking about your pastor. Don't entertain the enemy when he's talking about another pastor. Because God hears it. He's keeping a record. He's writing it all down. 
And one day, every last one of us will have to give an account of every deed we did, every word that we said. Some of us gonna stand in judgment before Jesus, amen, for a reward. Some of us gonna stand in judgment for condemnation. And I wanna warn you too. Just because your pastor is not where you are at the time you engage in conversation, don't mean your pastor don't hear you. Because if your pastor is operating in the gifts of the spirit, amen, God allowed her spiritual ears and her spiritual eyes to hear you and see you. Be careful. God knows. They know. Don't let the devil fool you in the talking about how the pastor can run the church bell. I'm not talking about just straight way. I'm talking to the body of believers. Be careful. If God didn't give you that post, didn't give you that title, then you stay in your place and support the leader that God has placed over you. Anything with two heads, the pastor does always tell us, is what, pastor? Retarded. There's only one pastor. And I want to serve notice to you, too. The deacons don't run the church. The deacons are the police of the church. They help see that everything go right. But the pastor, male or female, is the head of the church. And everyone else, we are followers. We are sheep to follow the shepherd. And if we get out of order, that means we have gone astray. And the ravenous wolves is waiting to devour you up. Satan comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Be careful of the pitfall. God bless you.